Welcome back to Learning Inkscape and this time I'm going to show you how to create a deformed grid. Someone asked me how to do it and let's say you've got this template and you want to have a grid of the same shape. Let us create one with the rectangle tool. I hold control when I drag this to have this square. Then I press control D to copy them. So I've got 4x4. Four four. Let me get rid of the fill by click on the X and I hold shift click on a black color swatch to have a stroke. Select it all, Control G to group it. And now I want to put this, as I've said, in the same shape. As far as I know, there is no way to just paste it into the shape so that it's perfect. So we have to do it manually. Let me first transform it a little bit to have somewhat of the same size. Then I go to Path. I'll make sure that the grid is selected. Path, Path Effects. Then click on the plus sign. And we use the envelope deformation. And now I've got these four options for the notes tool for the top, left, right and bottom path. And you can hover over the line and your cursor will change into a hand icon. And then you can transform this line. You can reposition the notes and obviously play around with the handles to adjust the curve. As I've said, there is no perfect way to just paste it into the form. But by doing this manually, you can get very close. And once you're done, you can just simply export it and use it in the way you want to. Let me get back to the original grid. So I just click on this minus icon and we've got the 4x4 four four back. Let's just say you don't have a template and you just want to transform it freely. Don't use the notes tool. Instead, use, for example, the perspective envelope. So once again, it's a path effect. Click on a plus sign. And you can transform it like this. If you want to create bands, you always need to have this envelope deformation. So you can combine the two and adjust it freely that way in basically all dimensions. But this is the process that I would use to create a grid that's deformed. And I hope this answered your question. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.